What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, back at it again, like you can always expect. Now, I mean, and today, another unboxing, all right? Through night. Again. Yep, another through night. You know, I know you guys love the through nights, so let's get right into it. Foam out. Oh, there's the packet. Don't eat that, guys. It tells you very specifically, do not eat the packet. Okay. Empty box. Flashlight. Lanyard. Gaskets. Um, what's this? Little one. I'm not sure. Might be a little replacement button thing. Um, yeah, whatever. I think most of us lose those things before we can even use them. So I, I suggest you keep a box full of these little knickknack stuff, on them, you know, and keep them all in the box. So if you ever need it, go dig through the box. All right. Keep this on the side. All right. Let's get into the paperwork and literature, instructions, the manual, whatever you want to call it. Let's see where's the English at. Uh, English is the first one. All right. I don't really want to spend too much time showing all the languages because I think most of the people who watch these videos speak English and read English also. Um, there you go. All right. So this flashlight, let's see what we have here. Is a, It runs off of two double A's, I believe. Got an SST 20 with a um, glass lens. It's orange peel reflector. All right, um, got a high mode at 280 lumens, medium at 86, low at 13 lumens, Firefly at 0.3 lumens on, for 15 days, uh, Shrobe at 382 lumens. All right. So there's no turbo mode here because this isn't one of those uh, lithium ion batteries, all right? This is just gonna be um, a regular alkaline battery. I mean, you could use a rechargeable lithium battery, I suppose, but uh, no turbo mode here because we don't got those, um, you know, powerful batteries like we usually do. Um, you know what, I'm putting this aside. We don't need to see those numbers anymore. Let's see the flashlight, all right. Archer 2A version 3. All right. So we're going to take a look at that right now. This light, look at the body. Just from looking at it real quick, I can tell this gets uh, disassembled into three parts. You got tail cap switch. You got an on button right here too. Um, all right. So it'll be interesting to see how this works. Does this one just turn it on and then you gotta use this to cycle through? We're gonna check that out right now, all right? Um, can this top come off? I don't wanna force it. All right, you know what? I'm not forcing that anymore. On one more time, forget it. I'm not trying to break it. I'm not really sure about that. It might be like um, permanently put together and I'm not trying to force that open, all right? Okay, so here's the inside of the light and the spring. All right, so let's put the battery in. We're just using Kodak batteries. I know it's not even Energizer or Duracell. This is what I have here right now. So these are the last two of the packs. So I'm gonna use them up. All right, it looks like there's a lot of room for the batteries inside actually. Look at that. I wanna show you guys that right now. There's a lot of wiggle room for the batteries, meaning the battery should not get stuck inside, all right? Even if it corrodes, I mean, you should be able to get it out most likely since there's a lot of wiggle room. All right. So there's no more battery shake here. Well, I shouldn't say no more. No, no battery shake like this, but like this, you... You know, it's still shaking, obviously. The spring is not hard enough to make the batteries not shake. But, you know what? All right, wait, let me tighten it a little more. That might be my fault. That's a little better. 
But you know what? No one shakes their lights like this. I'm shaking it hard, right? So it's gonna be fine for use. Let's go. All right, so I'm pressing this side switch, nothing's happening. So that tells me you gotta turn the light on from here and cycle through with the side switch. All right, that's low probably, medium, high, low, medium, high. Oh no, okay. All right, I got it now. Oh God. All right, low. No, this is Firefly now. All right, Firefly, low, medium, high. All right, and then strobe should be um, double tap. Oh no. Double tap goes straight to, wait. No, it should be triple tap then. All right, there's a strobe on here. I'm not sure how to get it going now. All right, is it like hold it on? All right, there you go. Guys, I don't read the instruction manual. Do not make fun of me, all right? I'm not the type to read the instructions. I just try to play with it until I figure it out. Um, so if you hold the switch down, it's gonna strobe. Just hold the side switch down, all right? If you wanna turn the light off, you have to press the, the back switch. That's the only way, the tail cap switch. Um, so when you turn it on, it's always gonna come on at Firefly, low, medium, high, oh. All right, this is low, all right, this is Firefly. But wait, does it have memory uh, light? It might have memory. Okay, guys, that's what it is. See, I, I told you I don't read the instructions. Um, it has menu, a uh, memory, so it knows what mode it was on last. It will go back to its last mode, except uh, I don't think it will go back to Firefly if you try that. I mean, uh, go back to Strobe if you had that on. So let's turn that off. Yep, it goes back to its uh, medium mode. Yep, all right. It has a um, mode memory, except when you turn it off in Firefly, it does not go back to Firefly, obviously. All right, so that's great. There's your Firefly. It's really good for a reading. And uh, 15 days, I think it said, you can run for on one, uh, one battery. It's not bad. All right, guys. All right, what do I think of this light? Put this on the side. I think this light is very slim, all right? Obviously, that's what you are after if you're looking for a AA battery uh, flashlight. So this is a really good light if you wanna carry something in a small pouch in your pocket and not take up too much space. Uh, let's see the weight. With the batteries in, it's only 2.86 ounces, okay? So that's a decent amount of light for the weight. All right. I mean, it's not an 18650, but it's two double A's. And you know what? Having a um, running off of two double A's has its advantages. You can replace batteries anytime you need. You can go to a hotel room and their remote might use double A's. You can pop them in here if you an you have an emergency where you can't buy a light, all right? Um, or buy batteries. Um, yeah, orange peel looks good. Let's just be honest, it looks good. Let's, there you go. I'm gonna post the link down below for this light, all right? I, I'm not really, uh, I can't remember the price. The price fluctuates, but it goes on sale a lot, all right? If I had to guess this light, uh, I'm not even going to guess, all right? I, I kind of think I know the price, but I don't remember. <laughs> but the link will be down below. And also, through night, you know, they have giveaways all the time. I'll post the link for that, too. But, yeah. It's a nice light, you know? Let's go one last measurement on the light. All right. Um... The light's about six inches. All right, very good. There you go. 
yeah guys this video just hit 10 minutes so um if you like what you saw in this video you know just this casual style just talking garbage relaxed kind of reviewing style tabletop reviewing style whatever give me a follow all right i'm not one of those guys who's too serious about this thing if you want to see some pictures and stuff on instagram you can follow me at tim z usa and until next time tim z out